And as you can see, guys, the blimp makes it to the destination he wants it to get to, taking out a lot of this, a lot of this base here so far. Gets the uh, the scatter shot. Okay, gets the scatter shot. Getting the town hall here. Getting the queen. What? What he do, what he do, what it do. What's up guys, you already know who it is. It's your boy Senpai Sky and we're back at it again with another lit video because every video we do is lit. And today guys, it is Monday, fun day. So we're starting off with a giveaway. And man, we had a poll up. Everybody pretty much voted for the gold pass. So we're gonna be giving out a gold pass and a Discord nit Nitro. So, that means one person will win the Discord Nitro and another person will win the Gold Pass. So make sure you guys are looking during the attacks for the little thing that pops up that tells you to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and to hit the notification bell. And whatever time that's at during the attacks, put that down in the comment section. Then hit the link for the Discord, join the Discord, and follow the instructions in the Discord and then you, you'll be able to join in the giveaway. And the giveaway is going for three days. Now, the crazy attack strategy that we have for you guys today is that Itsu came out with the Super Archer, Super Wizard Blimp a couple of days ago, which was insane. And so has used that in his attack strategy for Legends League and in War, and it was nuts. So with that being said, we're gonna be showing you that and we're gonna be jumping right into this video. Okay guys, so we have two Legend League hits for you guys and then we have two war attack strategies for you guys where he six packed with it in war. So you know this attack strategy is OP right now. So we're gonna be speeding it up just a tad bit here to get this started, all right? And now we're gonna be diving right into it. So the blimp makes it into this compartment and now he's cloning it, Invis, Rage, and just look at these super witches, super wizards and super archers go, man. Oh my God, took out the queen, Invis again, takes out the CC. Oh man, took out, the, oh my gosh, took out the Infernal Tower as well. Almost took out the other Infernal Tower over here. Whew, almost took it out. Man, look how much of this base has went down though. One drag over there to set this funnel to help out. Got the King coming out as well. And now drags are all coming out here. Jack starting up top. Queen on the other side to cut the funnel to push the drags back around, which is very smart there. And now the drags are just working their way around this base. Queen already made the cut the funnel for this. Baby dragon on the other side. RC comes out now which is very, very nicely done. Having the RC come in to cut the defenses right here to make sure that these drags push over to the other side. Still has the Queen's ability, still has the RC ability, pops the Grand Warden's ability. And man, look at this. This is just tearing up this base. RC is gonna be able to pop her ability here. She's probably gonna take care of the Town Hall, freezes up the Town Hall. Gonna freeze it up again while the RC is gonna be locking that out again. Yeah, RC is gonna take care of the Town Hall easily. Town Hall goes down, has a freeze spell. RC still up. Queen still up with the, this attack strategy is insane. Queen still has her ability. Warden still up. Drag takes out the RC. This is definitely gonna be a triple here. Queen full health on the. This is over. This base has been obliterated by this attack strategy. 
Let's that go. is nuts. We're definitely going to show you another Legend League hit again. So let's jump into the next attack. Okay, guys. Now, as you guys can see here, this base is unique. Uh, you got the Town Hall at one end, the Eagle at the other. So we're definitely going to see how So takes care of this base right here, especially with this new attack strategy. Um, you got the blimp coming from one from that end with the Lava Hound. And we're going to just see what happens here. Blimp takes it to the face, but he gets into the compartment that he wants to. He rages up, clone, envis, and look at that. Oh my goodness, just shredded up this base so far. Town Hall goes down, uh, has to invis that real quick, invis again, but everything steps into the poison. One archer still out there, and they take out quite a bit. Super Archer takes out quite a bit there. And man, look how much of that has gotten wrecked. That is a lot. So, very good value out of that blimp with the Super Archers and the Super Wizard. It's just nuts how those two combined can do that much. And now you got the heroes coming into play. And now this uh, goal right here is to get as much value out of these heroes and to take out this Motai Inferno as well. Pulls the CC. And the queen should be be able to take care of that Lava Hound. Here comes the drags now. Pops the early Grand Warden ability. Rages up the drags right there. Gonna get down that scatter shot. Queen already made sure that funnel was cut. Beautiful job right there. Queen's gonna take care of that Lava Hound. And then she most likely might have to pop her ability to get those archers out there. But might not because Yep, here comes the baby dragon. A couple of drags move over two to take care of that. So she's not going to be needing her ability right here. And freezes up the next scatter shot. And yeah, man, this is looking very beautiful right here. Still has um, the queen's ability there. So we're definitely going to be able to get through uh, the rest of this base here with these drags. Warden coming over, stepping over with the queen and these drags. Queen's pops her ability, gets down that air defense here. These drags just blow right through the RC there. Uh, also going to be blowing through the queen. Queen goes down like it's nothing. The rest of these drags on the other side are going to get down this Motai Inferno. This is a guaranteed triple from So in Legends League again, man. This attack strategy is insane. That blimp with the with the super wizards and the super archers. They might just be better than just all super wizards in the blimp. I mean, it's just nuts how you can just have super wizards and super archers do that much let's to go. a base and get that much value out of them. So let's just get into the next attack here. Okay, guys. So I know. I know I said it was going to be two Legend League hits, two War hits, but man, this attack strategy looks so fun it, and it's so strong that I got to show you another Legend League hit. Like I said, So has been dominating with this attack strategy in Legends League, so you guys should try it out in Legends League, and if you get good with it, even try it in War. So as you guys can see, Lava Hound comes in. Blimp comes in. Blimp makes it right to the compartment he wants it to go to. Rage, clone, envis. And now out comes a couple of barbs. Super wizards and super archers come out. Town hall goes down immediately. And now they're getting even more value out of this. Takes out the CC troops, man. CC troops go down. And now we got two super archers left out there. One super archer out there getting even more value guys takes out a, a motor and a uh collector super wall breaks open that compartment king and queen are coming out here to uh take out the enemy queen and to get that motai inferno and to keep getting more value out of these sewer heroes queen needs to take out that air that air defense we need that air defense to go down. She needs to step over and get that. That's very important to get that air defense. And now the air defense is going down. 
drags and loons coming up from the top. Gonna be watching where so is gonna be placing the RC. RC's coming in right behind the king and queen. Definitely needs to get that scatter shot and that sweeper. The sweeper is a big issue for these drags if it continues to push these drags back. back. So you wanna get that sweeper. Sweeper is going down from the RC. RC is gonna help out with this uh, Motai Inferno with the help of the drags as well. Gets the next sweeper down as well. Pops her ability. Gonna get the scatter shot. Man, this base is crushed. Ooh. <laughs> this attack strategy is amazing, guys. That blimp with the uh, super wizards and the super archers. The archers can take out stuff from the distance. The uh, super wizards can use the chain to get multiple things down as well. It's just a beautiful combination. And we're just gonna speed this up. And definitely, guys, this is a triple coming in from So on another Legend League hit, guys. So, like I said, this thing is definitely working wonders in Legend Let's League. Go. So, we're gonna show you how he got that six pack with this attack strategy in war. So, let's get into that as well. Okay, guys, what you guys probably been waiting for the war attack hits from So using the super archer super wizard blimp and we're gonna see where he's gonna be coming in with this blimp here and this is looking like almost a max town hall 14 with the uh with some of these builder huts needing to be and these cannons needing to be uh maxed out here and as you can see guys the blimp makes it to the destination he wants it to get to taking out a lot of this a lot of this base here so far gets the uh the scatter shot okay gets the scatter shot getting the town hall here getting the queen what hits a tornado trap oh moves him away from the eagle could have got the eagle if the tornado trap wasn't there but takes out a lot of the cc here headhunters being taken out the witch almost taken out as well and now you guys can see coming in at 12 o'clock with the uh, drags. And now Super Wall breaks open the compartment where the air defense is at. Queen and King going to be stepping in probably to that compartment. Yep, King steps in. Queen stays on the outside. King's going to be taking out the air defense there. And look at look how much value that blimp got out of that. Man, that, that was... So beautiful right there. The combination of those two is amazing. Super Wizards, Super Archers are amazing. Um, and now you guys can see Queen gonna be stepping in that compartment, but I don't think she's gonna be able to take out that single. The RC, yeah, the RC and the King are gonna be taking out that single right there. And now the RC stepping up, getting out that motor. And she will be taking out that Motai Inferno. Pops her ability. Gets that Motai Inferno. Gets the Warden. Oh, man. She got so much value from the RC alone so far. And the RC is still rolling here. The King still has his ability. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be an overpowering triple. The RC probably going to go down here to this cannon and to this Tesla. But she leaves the cannon one shot. Still got two drags up, a wizard, a couple of archers from the queen, the baby dragon. The king is still rolling with the yak. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a triple. Let's just, oh my goodness, guys. This attack strategy, once again, coming in so powerfully to take out this base. Let's a go. great triple right here from So, and we're going to be getting into the last attack, guys. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So last attack here, guys. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be blimping for this town hall and to get this scatter shot. Probably take out the CC as well. And yep, there it comes. Here it comes. Blimping straight for the town hall. Blimp, invis. Cologne, Rage, Invis again, and now the Super Wizards and Super Archers are coming out, taking out the scatter shot, took out the Town Hall, took out the cannon. Man, took out the CC as well. CC troops are out, and now 
there is nothing to pretty much stop those super wizards up there. Super archers are probably going to go down to the king down there. And the super wizards are just working on the lava hound. Pops the lava hound. And now here comes the drags. The drags are going to be able to take out the pups. So no worry about that. King and queen on the other side to make sure that these drags stay in the base. Super wall breaks open that compartment. Super wall breaks again to make sure that the king and queen step into this base. And now... As you guys can see, the funnel is being set up here by the king and queen on the other side to make sure that these drags just stay in the core of this base. So, Grand Warden ability is popped here. Definitely a perfect time for that Grand Warden ability. Seeking air mine uh, couldn't stop the drags, and the eagle couldn't stop the drags too. Freezes up that sweeper. RC comes into play at about 5 o'clock here, taking out the motor. And the uh, Expo as well. Freezes up that scatter shot again with the air defense, which is perfect. Nice freeze there. And the RC will be able to pick up the scatter shot, the cannon, and should be maybe be able to get the motor as well. She should be able to get the motor. She might die out to the king. Can she get this motor? Gets the motor and probably's gonna die out to the king right here. Oh no, the warden's in there as well. And the king focused on Lassie first, so she gets through that. She's gonna be able to get uh, through these skellies and pick off the Tesla. This is gonna be a triple queen with the ability as well. She's gonna be able to swag her ability. There is the triple, guys. We're gonna speed this up because we already know this is a triple. Swag the ability go. here, guys. And. And another amazing war attack. So with the six pack for this war, this attack strategy is nuts. Shout out to Itsu for the super wizard, super uh, archer blimp with the clone spell. Totally nuts. So if you guys found this video entertaining, if you guys found this video to be helpful for you guys, and you guys want to try this new attack strategy out, then make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and you guys hit that notification bell to be part of that notification gang, because we're going to be bringing you plenty of more things. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.